FIDA Uganda is seeking to have cohabitation relationships recognized as family forming unions that are worth of protection and for the government to enact a law to this effect. This say at least 30% women and 19% men are engaged in family like unions, commonly known as cohabitation relationships, yet there are no legal frameworks to protect them. Statistics also show that there is a huge percentage of people in Uganda that are cohabiting and are starting families together without, get, without getting into any of the legally formalized forms of marriage. It is therefore important that the government puts in place laws that clearly stipulate and protect property rights of people in families that are funded through cohabitation relationships on equal basis with those in families that are founded through marriage. This alongside Annette Nasozi, who says she has been cohabiting with her partner for the past 27 years, but he kicked her out of their family home without a share of the property that was acquired during the time they were together. They also seek to have cohabitation recognized as a legal form of marriage to enable those in such relationships share family property once the union is no more. It's for this reason, therefore, that we stand with Nasozi Annette a woman who has been in a cohabiting relationship for over 27 years and is now expected to leave the family home without a share of the property that was acquired during the subsistence of the relationship, simply because she is not a legal wife. In the suit that we have filed today at the High Court, we seek to have cohabitation relationships recognized as family-forming units that are worthy of protection and for the government to enact a law to this effect. Download the app on App Store or Google Play Store now. Vision Digital Experience, the future of media.